Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Tortha. We are starting out in North Row at the Dervish Camp. We're going to be soloing it, and then we're going to move on to Oasis, where I ended up getting a group and was able to finally get level 16. So this is the last part of 12 to 16, thank goodness. Now, I'm not going to be doing any level 16 spots in this video since I did get it pretty quick and um, I just really want to make sure that I'm doing level sections in their own videos. So to negate or mitigate or am I saying those words a lot? I feel I am but to make sure that you get more content out of this video we're going to try to start jewel crafting. This should be fun. I think. I don't know how I'm going to be doing it yet. I may just grab everything that I need to get to a certain level and just do craft between metting because I met a lot. Uh, hopefully that will change once I get Breeze, which is at level 16. So there's that. I'm planning to do jewel crafting as I level, as I make money. And once we get, I believe, let me see... We're going to be doing a few dungeons around level 20. We'll be doing a money camp, I think. And, of course, at 24, we'll be doing a money camp. And then level 20... Eight ish will be doing a money camp so I should be able to fund everything that I'm going to be doing plus at some point I'm going to see if I can't get a Peggy cloak that would be very nice to have but I don't want to buy it I think what I'll do is just go sit and camp one of the locations where she spawns and then have her fight mobs until she kills herself that is also a problem, though, because what if somebody else rolls up and says, Oh, we were doing this camp the whole time. Well, I was here the whole time. Nobody was camping this spot. Uh, and it is a zone-wide thing. So, I mean, what is your, um, your ideas on that? Whenever somebody is doing the Peggy rotation, if nobody is at one of the spots, it is an open, it's open game, right? I, I would think you can't camp the whole zone unless you have people at every spot that the Peggy does spawn. I understand that, oh, I got it on track. I'm heading that direction. But if I've already engaged it and they try to take it from me because of the fact that they're higher level than me, how does that all work? So <laughs> things that I'm thinking about. But yeah, I, I have a ton of ideas for locations to go to. Next one is definitely going to be a dungeon. But I do want to do jewel crafting. So aside from jewel crafting, we need to talk about research. Because at level 16, you get research. I don't know about you guys, but I have had all of the... Uh, caster classes. I have all of them. After Fever and Orgul got to 49, I was done. I never wanted to research again. I still feel that way. So I expect that that's how things are going to be uh, taken in, in that course. I am not going to be looting any research stuff. I'm just going to buy the spells straight out. Try to find someone that can make the spells and just go to them and buy them whenever I get to certain levels. Just because of the fact I don't want banks full. I was so despising um, research on my wizard that whenever I got level 49 and got all my spells, I went and sold every single rune to a merchant. That's how much I hated gathering those things. I had eight bags worth of runes and none of them could make anything that I needed. So it, it just got... Uh, to a point where I was done with it. What do you think on that? I, I, I suggest that everybody does research on at least one caster, but do you think I should do research again? I mean, do you want to um, cast me to that existence of hunting and pecking for those research pages? I don't want to. 
I think you had to identify the, the pages too. Uh, I don't know. I, again, I've never done research for enchanters. I don't know what their deal is or anything along those lines. But that is something I've been thinking about as well. So as per the moment, we are not doing research on this character. But I will be doing jewel crafting or jewel making is what it's called. And that is going to be the second part of this video. We're going to actually go and do some of that. All right. So I am now in. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> what's this? What's this on my cursor? Um, enchant Electrum. Okay. So I, uh, I went ahead and came back to town. I picked up all my spells for enchanting of the things. Here we go. I have some silver on me. And I think this, this combination is going to merit me some um, skill. I went ahead and... Um, I went ahead and got, uh, went to my trainer. Put 21 points into jewel crafting. And I think we're going to try to make some things. So let's just go out here. Well, let's go near the cleric guild, I guess. I still haven't put in my other spells yet. But I wanted to at least um, check how expensive this is going to be mana-wise. So I wrote down... Let me go ahead and put notes. Oh, great. My notes are gone. Anyway, uh, Amber... Is two gold five or two plat five gold per silver is five gold per so that's three gold or three not three gold numbers three platinum. I'm gonna put breeze on myself, okay. And I guess we'll take root out and we'll take silver. There's enchant clay. I have no clue what that's for. I guess we need to... Can we enchant a stack? I'm guessing that's not a thing here. Let's see how this works. What? Enchanted silver bar. Oh, okay. I get it. I don't have to. I don't have to put a silver bar in my hand. It automatically pulls from any silver bars that are within my inventory. That's more convenient. Let's see how many we can make out of my mana and i did go ahead and put braids on myself so hopefully that will regenerate our mana slightly <laughs> uh i feel that we should be able to get at least a stack out of my mana but it is taking up a good portion per per cast so if i was to do this while i'm out and about then i would need to have had these bars enchanted beforehand because I am clinging on to every piece of mana that I can get at the moment. So we have five there. Let's just go with that. I got my little jewel crafting kit. And we're going to take one of these. And one amber. And we're going to combine it. And Oh, we got a ring. So this is what we ended up making. It's a strength ring. Let's see, I need to change Breeze out for Alliance. Also, if I want to do better, I could do the, um, the Wine uh, quest. So, let's go do this. Plus, I don't have my Charisma buff, which is 18 Charisma, I believe. When you get it, that would put me at 218. But wow, that, that was pretty quick. Let's try another one. See if we uh, get it again. That one we failed. Uh, made no skill on it. Okay. 
Uh, I guess we could sell to this merchant. See how much they would. Um, let me see. By the way, this is the guy you buy from. So I'm gonna. Well, let's check his con. Right now he's indifferent. If I would do the um, the wine quest, I would. I can get the ally. Right now he's at amiably. Amiably. This sells for more than what I actually made it for. If not exactly as much as I made it for. So I can actually sell these and make a profit. Or even if I don't make a profit, I can sell them and get my money back. So that is going to be good. It's just that it's taking mana for me to do this. So let's just see how many we can do real quick. With the rest of the stuff that we have here. Oh, no pull from there. Got another ring. Alright, so we got to 22 skill there. It's not that bad. I think we should be able to do pretty well. Uh, doing these out and about. Just have to, like I said, probably sit down and just enchant non-stop. Just to make sure we're getting all these bars done. So let me do that and I, uh, I'll be right back. Actually, I did want to try this real quick because this is something that you can do whenever you're summoning food on your clerics. Is it showing? Okay, yeah, so you can just do this. You can just keep casting over and over. All right, I'll be back once I have a full stack. So one thing I'm noticing is that it is taking a lot of mana. It, it, it's wiped out my bar, and I still have three bars left. That's after metting for a few to get a little bit more mana back to finally get as far as I have. So I can't do a full stack with my mana at, um, at its current state. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing some crafting. This is why I expect that people uh, do all of their crafting in EC. That way they can just sell it as it's made. Or they can just keep enchanting bars while they're there. And maybe people will buy their stuff. I don't know how it works. But it's um, giving me skill at least. It just looks like it's going to take some time. And uh, a lot of space. If I get successful. So, oh, no, don't, don't use that stack. We gotta finish the stack we're working in. That's just, it's the code. It's the code of how things work in this game. Oh, I don't know why I'm using that stack. But yeah, you can see while I'm sitting here, I've gotten enough mana back that I can probably enchant the rest of these bars. So it's not uh, anything that I can't handle. And also, let me see, so I think it costs 20 plat per stack of amber. So if you were to make all of them, you'd, you'd be making pretty decent money. But of course, in all trade uh, crafting, even if you are a master at it, you're still going to fail. It's always, always a chance. Well, I think that's it for the video today. We uh, we started doing some enchanting. We got level 16. We now have Breeze. And next time we're going to move on to somewhere else. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. This is the Cypher Deck. Peace out. So this seems to be the best way for me. Um, every time... The, I get done casting the spell. I'm just using my invis to animal ring to reset my top spot. 
and just recasting and once I run out of mana then I go ahead and throw everything into my inventory and it seems to be working fine for me oh is that that was weird okay that makes more sense but yeah, um, it should be easy to do it that way. I'm sure I have, let me see here. That's silver bars. This is all enchanted here. So yeah, let me go ahead and combine three because I, just to get rid of these, they're messing with me. I, it's, I think you guys know about my OCD. I think we've talked about this. So, it's, it is a thing. So I don't like uneven numbers. And the good thing is, is that I may, I, I purchased even numbers. So that we would... Okay, there's that. I now need to put that there. And yeah, we'll go ahead and continue making bars until we have a full stack. But this seems like it's going to work fine, I think. This, okay, we need, we need to resolve that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'm the way I am. Shut up. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, this is, we'll get this stack done. We'll run through a stack, and I think we'll just end it there. Uh, really? Oh, by the way, the whole reason I'm in a brand new location than I was before was I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys this place. This is where I buy the things that I that I am um, using for for doing my stuff. So let me go out, and I'll show you now that I, that I have a stack. I will put this here. We'll move these up move these over there's that so this is right across from the underground bank so if you know where the underground bank in uh, is in the commons and I'll just show you real quick So this leads over to the pod, or the Priest of Discord. It's just right around here in this water area. Come over to here. Cross the bridge. Gate's going to come down on it. Nope, it didn't. Oh, that one did, though. <laughs> so now you want to go right and forge house. This is where you want to go. And if you've never been to the underground or never been to the react or are new to it, right here is the door that takes you right down to the bank. Ta-da! It's real easy. And, uh, yeah. Let's go back up here and we'll sell our stuff after we make some more. So let's do that next. Now, I've already messed up my bag alignment, so... So this bag is in the wrong location. Let's get it nice and lined up. Come on, it's... You're not lining it up to the line that's there, you're lining it up to the bottom line. And I can already see variations that I'm not liking here. See that? Look at that. Boom. And then just move this over and up a little bit more. Down a little bit. Boom. I feel better now. These guys open. And I am going to leave this one right here for just now. All right, so this is enchanted, and then we have these. I'm gonna act as if I know that this is gonna make it automatically. <laughs> I don't know if that helps. Uh, everything is RNG in this. Oh my goodness, come on. All right, let's. Ooh, look at that. Look at that evenness right there. 
feel even better about that. Okay. Is... Am I at least getting skill? Please? Okay, we made one. We did get skill, we're at 28 now. I think these take us to 30 or maybe 50. I don't remember which. What I like to do with those, I like not to pay attention to this until I'm done with whatever I have. Pull from that stack. So yeah, this isn't that bad. This, I mean, this is only two items I'm having to combine. With poison, I'm having to take up at least four slots. And tinkering, well, let's not talk about that. That's, that's a whole other story. Do not make the ring. Good. I didn't want it to. I, I came up even across the board, so. Alright, let's move this over here then. For now. We can close all of our bags. We just need to open these two and sell them. So let's hit this guy with Alliance. We also want to make sure that we take this ring and we get back to our 200 charisma. Oh yeah, let's do this. Three P two G six silver. And I'll get exact amounts for both the silver and the amber in just a second. Actually we can do it right here. And we won't deal with coppers. Copper is <laughs> so we're not gonna deal with that. But I do know how much money I spent. I spent, I mean, and I'm not going to get that amount of money back because that's just not how it works. You don't spend a certain amount of money and expect to get that amount of money back because we didn't create 40 uh, rings. We only created uh, 26, I think, in total, uh, com uh, combining the money that we're making right now and the ones that we uh, sold in the other area. So there's that. So let's go over here. And there's Amber. Um, can I not move this down or anything? Let's try this again. A a equals two, five, one. B equals five O. Oh. Zero five O oh. So you take that and that is three three platinum one gold and we're getting three platinum two gold back. So that's actually not that bad.
I think we uh, we came out ahead as far as selling goes, and I will continue to work on this until I max it out, and then start going to the next thing. Now, if I will do that while I'm out and about, again, it means that you're going to have to do some prep for it. And then if I'm going to do that, then I'll probably just take out a lot of gems with me and, and go that route. But I really don't want to spend that much money on uh, crafting right now. I have more levels to get and um, more things to do. So... Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed on this one. I know that it wasn't as much fighting as doing other things, but we did get levels, and that's all that really matters, right? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck, and I will talk to you next time. Peace out.